Good day and welcome to the latest episode here on the Super Dollar Science YouTube channel. My name is Jean Pierre and I am your Tableau tutor here on Super Dollar Science. In our quest to make the complex simple, we have decided to share some of our six top tips with you in Tableau. Not only will this improve your visualization skills, but also teach you some shortcuts to make your life a bit easier. Do stay tuned. Um, a little bit later, we'll be sharing some exciting news with you as well, so do not miss that. But for now, let's jump straight into the details. We will start off by looking at the data that we're working with. So it's an Excel file. This could be any data, by the way. We don't have to use this, but um, for the purposes of this, we'll share the file with you as well. This is just some sales data for from the African region, where we've got a date for a period of four years, the country, the city, the region, as well as the segment sales and profit for this specific data set. So what I have done in Tableau already is imported the data. And as you can see, the fields and data looks exactly the same as in, in Excel. All right. so. Maybe let's have a look at what is our first tip. Now we'll start the countdown from six. So at number six, and that was my game show voice if you're wondering, but at number six, we're talking about default properties. Now, how sometimes when building a big model, you have to change the properties such as formatting, as well as aggregation for some of the um, measures the whole time. So being able to set the default properties is super helpful. This will save you a lot of time. So let's have a quick look at how we do that and what we can actually change. So I've again created a um, sheet already looking at the default properties. The only thing I've included was the region from our data set into the rows. So for instance, you would know if we drag profit or double click profit and put that into our visualization, we could even put it into columns for instance. Um, and let me just remove that and do it again. So if we do it straightforward from our measures, it would always come at the aggregation of sum. And you would also see that um, it also comes with a standard way of formatting this. This, In this case, there's no decimals. If I put this in label, also no decimals. So if we wanted to reuse the sum of profit, or rather not use sum of profit, but the average, with a specific format everywhere in our visualization, even on other tabs, one can simply right click it on, in, on it on the measures shelf and go to default properties. In there, you'll see we could have a default comment for this measure. We can even change the default color and the number format, as I mentioned, and the aggregation. So let's say for the purposes of this data set or perhaps this worksheet, we will look always at the average. So it doesn't change what's in your visualization, but the next time you start incorporating that, as you can see now, I'll just take that and put it in there, it would automatically default to average. And the same if I just open up a new um, visualization. Let's, for instance, take the segment this time and include profit. You'll see it will always come through as the average. Now, as I mentioned to you also, and let me just remove that. As I mentioned to you also, what we do have is um, to change the format. So again, under default properties, we can change the number format and specify it exactly as we want with the number of decimals, if we want decimals and all of the other um, properties that you can do for formatting. And that would be used as a default when it is incorporated into the visualization. Important point, it will not change the ones that are already included in there. All right, number five. <laughs> so our custom map backgrounds. This is one we've presented on recently as well. And for me, it's really something that um, you should take a look at to take your visualizations to the next step. And I'll give you a quick rundown of how this works. Um, for this, we would, however, need a account within, and I'll just go open up Mapbox quickly, an account in Mapbox, and where you get your public API. Now, all of this is also explained in our, um, uh, we've, uh, no, no, as I mentioned, in a specific video tutorial, as you can see here on YouTube. It is, it is titled the Tableau Custom Maps with Custom Background. Do go check it out. There's an excellent example in there as well. Um, and it's also part of a series of three videos which you can learn through from a lot. But in any case, you will first need your, um, your Mapbox account. And then if we jump into Tableau, you'll see I've already created a normal, ba well, normal background map, if you want to call it like that, where we include the city, um, as you can see, the cities in Africa, with the total sum of sales as the color, so the darker the green, the more sales has been um, generated in that city. 
and then also the size of the bubble is the profit that we've assigned. So this is something you can build that you're used to building, I'm sure, and you know that um, you, know, you can change some of the settings. However, if we wanted to take this to something that you've never seen before, as I mentioned with Mapbox, we will need to get into the map settings and go to background maps and choose map services. You will just add a Mapbox map and we'll use the classic style for now and we can just call this my style and we'll paste the access token which I will just go and obtain from the data from the website quickly so you just copy it from there and use it in here you'll just paste it and here's your options these are the preset ones so you could obviously define your own through Mapbox as you can see there's a place, place for picking the custom ones but there's already some preset ones and I prefer to use pencil for instance and you can play around obviously with these and look at that immediately it changes to a different visualization which I think you know looks quite great in this case because it highlights our, um, yeah, our bubbles quite nicely number four filtering why is filtering a top tip well regular filtering is regular filtering but let's show you some quick ways to do this as well now again if we go back into tableau and we look at the filters sheet which i've created it's a straightforward one once again just looking at the sum of profit as the color into this bar chart and dividing it by region into our rows and then our segment so what you generally be doing if you wanted to um, focus on specific segments is you'll drag your segment into filter select the ones you want or don't want and hit ok in this case i'm going to show you a much easier way let's say you know you want to filter only on um, public you can literally just double click public and it will just keep all of the public ones that are in your data set so removing that let's say you want to have two in your data set you can click um, by, well, public and residential for instance either with the control or the shift button if it's in a list or individual items and you can right click and say keep only so this would then apply your filter on segment as you can see there and we can even edit this filter so you can have a look it automatically selects those two for you so that's pretty neat um, I think and saved me a lot of time when I learned this but there's another way if you wanted to look and um, will filter on a specific measure you can right click sorry on a specific specific dimension right click on the header and say show filter now this would give you the interactive filter and you can immediately yeah, click and show which ones you want to have in there quite handy even if I have to say my, so myself number three dashboard starters now this product is limited to tableau online if you're not familiar with tableau online it's a tableau product obviously um, it's similar to a software as a service offering where you would have a tableau server but you don't need to um, basically have your own hardware um, it's basically stored in the cloud on the tableau servers so you've got all the functionality of tableau server but as a easy way to access it you can read up some more around tableau um, online obviously on the internet so you can look at it from the tableau.com website um, but the function we're focusing on is the dashboard starters which comes ships with all which is shipped standard with tableau online this was launched not too long ago a couple of weeks ago so in may basically of 2018 and what makes this really nice is tableau has built a couple of custom or rather a couple of standard dashboards for a, for a few software packages such as salesforce oracle eloquia marketer and service now what is quite nice for instance on the salesforce dashboard as you can see it, it looks very professional and it takes all the standard data available from salesforce with their connectors where you can look at the account tracking dashboard at the quarterly results the top accounts in your salesforce data the opportunity an opportunity overview with opportunity tracking and marketing leads so quite a comprehensive ready to implement dashboard which i think is great from tableau to do that this already con obviously contains the best practices and it allows you to create your own in addition to that and customize them if your data or your method of working is slightly different or if you just want a different view on, on that so as you can see for different ones like the email marketing uh, you know normal marketing information as well as 
IT tracking or IT issue tracking within your organization has already been built with all individual dashboard. So a really great one if you're looking, if you're using in any of these software packages. Number two, mobile layout. So this has been around for quite some time and this ensures that your dashboards can be viewed on the go with your phone and with a phone and tablet. So making your that your dashboards very easy to consume is important as seeing as a lot of people are on the go these days and don't always have the time to log in. So well, let's quickly have a look at an example. I have built a basic dashboard in here as you can see using the profit breakdown as we spoke about earlier, the profit by country, normal filled maps, and lastly the sales by segment which is just a tree, tree view map over there. So nothing strange about this but if you are to publish this onto the app, the Tableau mobile app for instance, or um, if your users are logging in via the um, Tableau online portal, they, it, this might not look great on their mobile device. But Tableau has given us the opportunity to use the device preview. So if we click on the device preview, automatically you'll see the screen changing to a smaller size. And we've got some additional options at the top here. So we can have a look at what it, it will look like on a tablet, on a phone for instance or just on default desktop with different dimensions that you can set um, for the different monitors. So we'll focus, we'll have a look at the tablet for instance, and you can again look at the generic table tablet layout or you can specify it for a specific version if that version is being used within your organization. And so let's perhaps just look at the, um, the normal iPad and we can see what it looks like if the orientation changes and as well if the user is using the mobile app rather than just the browser. And one can then add the tablet layout, for instance, which is super handy um, if you want to make sure that everything fits in. That being said, or that the reason for that is if we look, for instance, and look at the phone layout, we see it's really squashed up and this might not be the best way to show this. And this is even on iPhone 7, so if we do make this a normal iPhone, uh, sorry, it was iPhone 7 Plus. So if we do make this a normal iPhone 7 and we uh, look at it th not through, all th through the app, even on this view, it does not look great. So what we could then do is once we add the phone layout, you'll see now we've got the tablet layout and the phone layout, is we can change this to a custom layout. What that means is any changes we do make now here on our, uh, yeah, in this within this specific layout for the phone does not get trans it over to the normal dashboard. So when logging by phone, it might look different. So if we were to remove, for instance, the sales by segment to clear up a little bit more space um, and perhaps even move the country map down a little bit like that, I think that looks good. That gives us a good indication. Although we've lo lost some of the details or some of the, uh, the, the view, this actually looks way better for somebody consuming it by phone. That third dashboard might not be that important, and what you'll see is this is what the, they will see when they log in via phone. If it's on tablet, we still have the third graph there. So a really neat way of using your, um, your, yeah, your mobile devices to consume your models. And back to our dash or our tips. For my favorite one is number one Tableau prep. This one is really new, fresh off the press from Tableau. It has been around in beta version as a project maestro, but now they've actually launched it. It is a separate product, and you might have seen a lot of hype about it, but it's a separate product to Tableau, um, or Tableau Desktop in, in, in any case, which helps you to clean your data. And trust me, it does not get any easier than this. So I'm quite excited about this one. And this is also where I can share with you, we've got some exciting um, announcements coming up with a potential new course on this as well. So if you want to yeah, stay connected, do subscribe to our channel. We will let you know as soon as that is ready. But let's have a quick look at it in any case. Um, it stays quite a lot to go through, but we will go just have a quick look quickly. So in the past, we had to use stuff like Altrix or you know outside of t um, Tableau, for instance, but Tableau Prep, as, as I mentioned, that comes now um, you know, shipped different separately. Um, if you have a license for the normal Tableau desktop, you should be able to use this on to use that same license on Tableau Prep. Alternatively, they do allow for a 30-day free period, which is excellent to test it out. But in any case, let's have a look what it looks like. So 
what you would see is that um, now it's this is obviously a completed model but in essence you have different a different flow so you can see different data sources that you can connect similar like we could do in tableau but then you can add steps to manipulate the data before you get to a join for instance or to to add some stuff together so you would normally do some of this in you know through some uh, calculated fields for instance or even your source data but you can do it now here so for instance renaming certain states um, fixing date formats once you've added that in together you can union or join it um, later on you can union information as well you can pivot it as well and what makes this view quite nice as well is you're able to track the changes you've done so for instance if we just look at the bottom over there we can see what different kinds of um, yeah, work we are doing or changes we are making to the data as well as at the bottom you have a preview of the data to see what else we perhaps need to fix and obviously the view changes as you go through each of the steps as well and I really like this bottom part of it because um, it gives you as I mentioned uh, it's the, the the preview of the data even at the bottom there so if we can make that a bit bigger you can see the preview but here it gives you some sort of histogram almost or a bar chart I should rather say of the number of rows with, with these values. So super nice to also have a look at your data and get a sense of your data before you actually work with it in Tableau. At the end, what the idea is, you can have a file ready that's ready for export to a you know, CSV or whatever kind of file type you want, but also to the Tableau proprietary uh, data sources, or I should rather say extracts, which are your .hyper or your .tde file. Right, let's quickly recap our top six tips that we've got. So, format your numbers and your aggregation once and once only. Use your custom map backgrounds to make it look way better and to make your audience excited about using your visualization. Also, add filters quickly and easily. Don't reinvent the wheel, use dashboard starters. Make sure that your users are on the go with proper mobile layouts and ensure that you can clean and scrub your data using Tableau Prep. I thank you very much for joining today. Do stay tuned, do subscribe to our YouTube channel to um, be first to be notified of any new content that we launch. We do also have a couple of other videos coming up. For instance, we'll be looking at the common mistakes made in Tableau. We will also look at the analytics pane with Tableau, which is quite exciting. And we will also come back with some additional custom charts. Thank you very much for joining once again and see you next time.